So we're back doing this again. Playing Yuki Ultimate Master 2006 Edition. Blah 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 blah. It's 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 the same game. It hasn't changed. Um, we now have a demock, which is a nice thing. So I'm going to play against the skill drain deck, so that my demock gets negated when I summon it. Exactly what I'm shooting for here. So we'll see what happens. So I open double. Uh, Spirit Reaper, this thing. I get a Death Koala. It would be really funny if they run into it. Might not happen, but I'm just going to set it just because. Yeah, the Death Koala does seem kind of random, but you know, I kind of like adding one or two random things in this, in just decks in general sometimes. It's just a funny thing to do keeps things somewhat interesting. I don't want everything cut and dry. I mean, it's working out like that. I mean, I, I can't explain it, but 2,000 damage is not that... I mean... It's not exactly that bad. I'll still be able to search, so... That's always a cool thing. So now it's pretty much just me trying to get an answer for for skill drain because that's pretty much it. This will help a lot because it will thin out my deck somewhat. There's nothing here I really want to summon particularly. So I'm just going to summon Pyramid Turtle and just keep sitting on it. I'll take a bit of damage but it's fine. Consider my opening hand, there is a possibility you could lose here. I mean, if I can get space, it'd be great, because I can get it back, potentially. Should I go for another turtle? Yeah. Yeah, I should go for another turtle. I can summon that thing in defense mode. What am I doing? Just took 16 for nothing. But it's all good. The AI misplays a lot, so it, it evens out in the end. I mean, I got a lot of defense here, so yeah, it's pretty bad standing for me. But skill drain is an annoying card. Standard stuff so far. Yes, I will like to use this effect. Um, might as well just set it defense position or summon it in defense position because if it dies, I can get back with a life later. See if we can get some back row hate. Nope. But we did get circuit of armor. That's a nice thing. That's a pretty nice thing. Oh. Hmm. Eh, we'll go for it. Get back uh, this thing and we'll just kill that. If we can hold a mag just long enough until we get some back row stuff, you know, MSTs, dust tornadoes, heavy storms, what's that? I think I have one of but I don't really recall. That is actually really legitimate here. Um, lesser of two evils. There's no point in stopping that attack. So, we'll kill this one though, because that's a lot of damage and it gets rid of the highest attack monster. So now, it's not so bad. <laughs> Oh yes. Now I kind of wish I would have, but now it's like, well, I didn't know, so we'll just switch to Roo and attack.
Creature Slob is pretty decent. I really like it. I, I really like it a lot. I think it's really undervalued both back then and now as to how crazy that card can be. I mean, it's like, yeah, you might have swung, but if you're going to be able to put yourself in a more advantageous position on the board, it's a bit situational, but in the right, that can be used effectively. I mean, we could just go all out here. I think I'm going to, because I still have my normal summon set, so. Okay, well, really wasn't that bad then. I uh, don't want to see that again. Oh! Solemn Judgment. I wish I had a few of them. It's a pretty legit color, really. But in this this case, um, I had a backup. So, I mean, I could have not had the normal summon, and it would have still been really for them. But overall, it worked out quite nicely in the end. Uh, that is an annoying deck to play against. So we'll get that knocked out of the way. We'll go ahead and face Skull Servants. Let's see if they can one us up this time. Um, so yeah, that new support card they got is pretty decent. Talking cards that haven't actually come out yet, I don't think. But it will be like really soon. This hand is... Excuse me. I'll just say Magic Cylinder and not really care. Yeah, I'll just say Magic Cylinder and not care. Pot of Greed. I will let it pass. I will take the 14. I'm getting all of these power spells and nothing I can really use them on. I really would like a tribute monster right now. Would be kind of decent. I don't really have to worry about losing as much though, because I do have magic cylinder which can serve to protect me and all of that. But I mean, so far it doesn't really look like it's going to hurt me that bad. One funny thing I can do is bring control then creature swap, but it's like they got a battle searcher, so it's not exactly something I want to do. But that mill is actually pretty good here. Now I got my pyramid turtle. Hmm. Hmm. Seems to me the best thing to do is just set the pyramid turtle, set call and pass. I don't really want to go off on anything right now. Does tornado. Okay. That's why you don't blind space. Stuff like that. Okay. So, with my 14 defensive wall, I feel pretty safe now. So. Okay. I have space for that, so when I need to get rid of it, I can. Sometimes lose a nice thing. I can go ahead and go to the old and see what I see what I get rid of. I just do not want to creature swap while they have this thing. I don't really see the need of Nolan, honestly. I don't really know what that card is, so um it honestly seems good enough just to pass with this because they can't attack with any of their monsters. They can only summon like a level one monster and attack with it. And I mean, yeah, Spear Reaper is nice. I'll go ahead and set it just because I'm gonna have to discard anyway. I'm honestly just waiting for something I can really make a plus on or play or something. Because as it currently stands, it's kind of meh. Fissure is nice. Fissure can get rid of that thing. Um, it has more has more defense, though. So, that's something. I am going to go ahead. Do I space? Do I space? That's the question here. 
I am going to go ahead in space. Because I have Spirit Reaper, so I don't really have to worry too much about my life. I'm going to throw Pyramid Turtle into attack position. I'm going to attack into, and hopefully succeed with, attacking into the Goblin thing. Because if they have a way to stop it, they might not use it. Okay, they just better be blind. Well, they just got all the stall in the world. Hmm. Okay. There's that Sakuda, that's going to be an issue. I'm going to have to, now that I know that that's that Sakuda, I can feel safe getting rid of it. Double cost, not going to help us right now. I'm going to go ahead and old man the that Sakuda because that's going to be a really big issue very, very quickly. And... Don't really think there's anything much in the grave. I don't have any tributes or ways of getting rid of tributes. I can brain control the goblin zombie and the fissure. But then I'm using up a brain control just to get rid of one monster. It seems not so good. Like I would rather have something to tribute or something to use brain control with. So uh defense mode pass. I don't remember if I have heavy in this deck. I really need one if, if they do, because situations like this. Sakrutu armor is nice. I will go ahead and set it and pass. Slow game thus far. There's another dust tornado. Very slow. This deck's annoying just because it just stops, stalls everything. There's stealth bird. Oh my gosh. We could legitimately lose this game. Hmm. There's Giant True Knight. That's perfect. Okay. It's got 17 defense. It's only got 700 attack. So, summon this and attack into it, then I can fissure it. I can summon this or put this thing into a that position. I can kill this. I need to kill this. I would really like to be able to kill this thing. I can always brain control it. Set it. But then if they're going to get it back, it's not really what I want to do. But I have this thing. But I'm not going to be able to do any damage. Anything I do is going to have to be done on that turn that I do this. I have an answer for that right now. But, I am going to set double costume for now. And I'm going to get one more turn. I'm going to take another thousand. I want to see what I draw next. Because whatever I do after I activate Giant Trudy will have to be done that turn. Magician of Faith is what I need. Okay, now that I know I have Magician of Faith and I can get back Giant Trudy when I need it. I think it's a, a safe to go ahead and shoot me. To then put this in that position, kill this thing, we'll tag into this thing, we'll fissure it, and then we'll set Magician of Faith. Okay. So we're going to do this first. Flip this. They could search for that. They have one Skull Servant, so it's not going to have enough attack right now. But if they do manage to make it big, I got Magic Cylinder to protect myself. And I'm getting Giant Trinity back, so it should be like horrendously hard to get rid of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start getting rid of monsters. First thing I'm going to do is attack into this. Flip it face up. I'm not sure if I really should attack into this. It gives them a free search, and that's not really going to do nothing. So at this point, I don't think I'm going to. Because if they just search, yeah, right now their field is clogged up. So I'm just going to pass on that, just fissure. Because I don't need to kill that. Just kill this. And then I'll set this. And then I'll set this. And then from there, 
we can do things. Now, Demok would be a really, really nice draw right now. Really nice draw. So they're going for the attack. Okay. Um, okay. I was kind of playing when to kill it, but no limit across that could be a thing. Actually, space. I want to get space. Because I can permanently get rid of that annoying card. That's what I want to do. I am totally fine with this. Because now with it, I can get more cards out of my deck. Which are that includes... I kind of want to draw into tributes, but I might as well throw it out. Because if there's only defenses... Gravity Bind. Then, okay, well, now there's two. Oh, boy. Kind of wishing I took that now, but... Okay, I got Destinator. So it's fine. I just said it. Deck. It's 21 to 22. So. We want to try and manage it, because there is a chance we could deck out here. This game's going to last quite a while. There's quite that chance. More back row. Okay. I love that. I am really loving that. So now it's like I don't even care if anything on my field dies. I can just torrential their field and be happy with that. So, um, so if I can clear the field, well, hot, hot down because I can just summon this and then poke and then I can get other stuff back from the graveyard including this so it's like meh I don't really see the need to do nothing right yet and I can trigger torrential myself whenever I want to oh yeah Um, I'm getting a lot of advantage off of that. I kind of want to do that. Because I know one of those is, is that. So I have two answers for it. I got brain control to take whatever they... And if they summon something and try to kill it, try to attack into me, I got... Magic Cylinder. And I can always premature burial, take their monster creature swap. I don't want to, that's what I, I think that's what I want to do. They're going to get a search off of this, though. I don't really like that, but... The only way this game's going to... I mean, right now, just keep stalling. It's not going to have, do anything for us, for me right now. So... I don't know. This is a tough situation. I'm going to have to deal with that anyway. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just start destroying things one at a time. And I'm going to go ahead and put him into attack position. And I'm going to go ahead and battle. Because if they got something like Mirror for Surge Armor, at least I can get rid of more cards. I'll have less monsters. I'm going to go ahead and attack the Goblin Zombie and just see what they get. Okay. And I want to respond with MST. They might have another one, which can be annoying. I'm just going to let them search. Because if they get something like... Okay, they're going to go for another gun or something. Okay. So now... I think I feel pretty safe with this. I think I'm fine with this. I'm not going to torrential. I'm going to see the need. I'm going to save it for when I think it will put me in a more winning position. Okay. Creature swap. So I know that is a Mystic Tomato, and I don't want to tag into it. I really don't. So I'm just going to summon this. If it's Mirror Force, I am fine with that, because I can just flip some of Torrential. And then still set. So, yeah, we're golden. I'm just going to start attacking monsters. Start going through, because I know some of those Skull Servants. 
obviously. And if they do summon the King of Solar Sermons, I may torrential them, because that kind of can be kind of annoying. Okay. Stuff like that may be the reason I should have torrential, but... They summon Skull Servant that has like a lot of attack. I can Magic Cylinder and it'd be fine. Um, we'll end it here. They have a lot of advantage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well, not as much. Not too much more than one. Okay. See now I'm in a more advantageous position to torrential because I don't have any as many cards invested. And now I have this thing, so that's pretty nice. I'm just gonna set creature swap and end. They negate. The torrential I still have magic cylinder. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. But luckily I they summon okay. Now I will torrential. Let's see if this goes through. I'll be surprised if it does. Well <laughs> that's a strange combination. So they do get the search, but they took up their normal summon to do this. And so I feel safe. Now I got pot of greed. I want to go for it because I may have some back removal. And if I get any back removal, I will be using it. Destiny is nice. Okay. I'm really liking this combo. So summon. Anything? Nope. Attack. I still have Book of Life. Okay. I'm feeling a little more secure about this. Because now I have Rush Recklessly. Make phase two. I'm just going to set this and set this and pass. The heavy, it's fine. It's what happens? I'm not going to face Dust Tornado. I'm going to keep Dust Tornado for annoying stuff. Uh, set. This thing has. No. Summon. Yeah, summon. Creature slot. <laughs> yeah. Now attack. Okay. Now effect. Don't think I want to summon Spirit Reaper, even though I have a lot of protection, because I think that's no real attack. I kind of low, so I'm just gonna get a right copy. I want to keep Spirit Reaper in the deck, so when I draw into it, I can set it or whatever. Feel more secure by having. Of course, they could have had Magic Cylinder. Now I'm thinking about it, and that would have been dumb. I would have lost then. Whoops. Made a boo boo on that, but it looks like they didn't have Magic Cylinder, so okay. At least now I know none of those is Magic Cylinder because they would have activated it. Expected. Okay. I think. I don't. I'm not going to test my at some point. I mean, they could suicide, but yeah, they could kill that. In that regard, yeah. I think I will space. I mean, uh, Dust Raider. Because I really don't want them attacking me with that. Because I'll get some free advantage off of it. Because I only got, like, this for this. And I will be using the Seeker's Armor because, like I said, killing the thing by battle is kind of annoying. Because it comes back. So at least this will deal with it permanently. Okay. Torrential is crazy. Um, <laughs> then there's Spear Reaper. I kind of feel more solid having it in my hand right now. So, I can just attack. If they kill me or do something, I have plenty of main phase 2 things I can do. And that should be, yeah, that's a game, game, game if this goes through. That was a very close one. So I feel secure because it's not my cell they would have. Now, if they had said another card, I would have been, mm, but, okay, that seemed to work out. I believe there's enough time to go for one more game. And then, uh, next video will be two more, and we'll unlock another person. 
So yeah, doing them quite annoying with all those traps that stop things. Um, as usual, curse of return could be really good. I'm gonna set that and set that and pass. So to deal with it with some effect and some some strong, I have a response for that, like Nolben, which is what I was referring to, and then they set. I get called a haunted. I will set this. There's no point in setting the call haunted up. I don't have anything to bring back. Nolman's kind of annoying, and it would have been much more advantageous if I had actually got that in the grave. Oh boy. Yeah. And then they tribute something. Okay. Um. They're gonna negate it. They're gonna get a free draw. But I will kill their monster. And I'll have something in the grave. That's an iffy thing. I don't have an immediate answer to this. So I'm gonna let it let them draw and then kill their monster. I mean I'm kind of in an awkward situation one way or the other here, so because I know they got noblemen. And then they got that thing. Okay. Book of Life. I'm going to set call and pass. Now I know they got an old man, so I can know not to set. I will take that. And I will cylinder this. Okay. Two thousand is plenty for me. Now I have my own note. Tribute monster would have been nice. Um, I can always book a life, attack their monster. Or pff, brain control, attack their monster. I really, really, really don't want to call the haunt of this. I really don't, but... At this point in the game, if I don't get a good draw for this, I lose anyway because I don't have much of a hand as it currently stands. So I'm just going to have to hope for something here. Then they space. Uh, this is 18, it's 48. It's not enough to kill me now. But if they summon anything else, I'm done. I believe I may have lost this game as well. So, this just seems to make more sense because that's a thousand damage I won't have to take. It'll kill one of their cards and if they do something to it, they won't get their monster back. So, maybe this will keep me in the game. This would have been much more advantageous if Pyramid Turtle actually got into the graveyard. I go for monster reincarnation, and that's going to be enough to kill me. Okay, well, that uh, did not really go... Actually, no, it's not going to kill me. What am I talking about? It was only going to be enough that they actually summoned something else. So, we're going to have to see. This is this is it. Could have been much worse, actually. Yes. I like that. I like it a lot. I am going to summon it, and it's going to get bottomless, and I'm going to lose. That's game. I will just surrender gracefully. I can't surrender at the 10th turn, so I guess I'm going to just not surrender gracefully. I was going to surrender and just let them have it, but the game's just like, no. Okay. really go as planned. I would like more Reborn cards. A Monster Reborn would be really nice to have. Uh, but the video is getting kind of long, so I want to end on me getting my face beaten, and I will see you on the next video thing.